So Amy, we're back at Tobacco Dock for the yeah. big shoot and you've got it done now. Happy with what you got today? I think so, although I'm never like properly happy until I've got home, looked at them on my laptop and then thought, okay, yeah, that's gonna work, that's gonna work. It's always like a slight concern until you get to that point. It's with every single shoot, not just the today, every single shoot, photographers. I mean, personally, like I never relax until I've seen those pictures edited a little bit and given a little bit of spice and then I'm like yeah I'm happy with that. Well we've got some <laughs> got some history now of some epic poster shoots so we're all super confident about <laughs> it. When, when did we start in 2018? Yes I'm going to, yes it was. That was the Chikati down by Tower Bridge. Yes. I love that shot. <laughs> I don't know how we got away with shooting that. <laughs> It was a dodge, dodging um, <laughs> traffic wardens and policemen. We got moved away pretty swiftly right. after we got the shot, but uh, then we, we got the shot, so uh, that's what all we needed. And then 2019 was the, was the red <laughs> yes, Ducati, yes, the Dubolex that yes. was just around the corner. Yep, 2019 was the Dubolex. And then 2020, the show that never was. Yes was Winston's Rough Crafts Enfield, which we shot here, didn't we? Yes, yeah. and um, yeah, it was it was strange coming back here and the first vision that we saw was that poster shot and I was yeah. like, oh, that was, that was where we used Such that. Such a beautiful it's shot. Great, I know. So, but then coming back this year, thinking, okay, how can we do it different mm. to that last poster? That's a little bit difficult because usually kind of using a, a, a location, you think, okay, I know that's a really great spot. I know that's a great spot. and. To try and figure somewhere else that works, that can be sometimes a little bit difficult. Yeah, well, we had a beautiful star piece for the poster this year, didn't we? The uh, CB750 from Ziggy Moto. I mean, I love uh, my personal bike is a Honda as well. So right. as soon as I saw that, I thought, yes, <laughs> oh yes. It's a stunner, isn't it? <laughs> Did you enjoy shooting that one today? Yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, shooting bikes can be quite difficult because you've got so many things going on in you know the space of a motorcycle. So to have you know this bike where you've got such a kind of a, a nice blend of fairing with the actual bike itself. It's very easy to follow your eyes over it. So mm. um, some bikes are not as easy as this to shoot, but this is something that's got like a beauty and an elegance to it, which yeah. I think is going to look really great on the poster. It's great in the venue, isn't it? To have the, the architecture behind the bike <laughs> yeah. and everything. But what's funny about shooting in a venue like this is that when I'm shooting for something, like, so this is going to be the poster. So I need to think, okay, where's the text going to be? Where's the heading, sponsors, right. stuff like that. So trying to work around that, even though yes, parts of the architecture are gorgeous. And when it comes to the event, I try to absorb all of that into all of the photographs and the atmosphere, but it's something you've got to try and not avoid, just think about when you're trying to shoot yeah. for a poster. So it's a different way of thinking in comparison. And I mean, when you're shooting bikes, I mean, everyone, when we polished our bike, we try and take a photo of it. <laughs> so, and they're normally rubbish. What do you say to people when they're trying to shoot their bikes? Oh, shooting bikes is really difficult because they're very busy machines. So I would say try and find something that's not got a very busy background. So something, you know, either like a long stretch of road where the, you know, it just disappears into the, into the backdrop or probably something with beautiful light. A anytime you get a gorgeous light, you can use it as a, like a backlit and you know, just these little highlights that will come off certain aspects of the bike, which means that the, the viewer can understand what they're looking at a little bit better. They're always great. But also, don't forget the details, because the amount of times that people, you know, you change these little things all over your bike and then you, you forget to shoot them. You just think about shooting the whole yeah. thing. Don't be worried about, you know, Getting coming in. into these little crops to yeah. be able to, you don't have to get the whole bike or a whole wheel in every single time. So yeah, don't forget the details. Don't forget the details. Okay, <laughs> cool. And you're gonna come back in May when hopefully it's a bit warmer yes. and shoot it full of people and bikes. Yes, which is wonderful because yeah. this event, especially on the evening, it's usually the Friday evening, I think yeah. it is, when everybody comes in and has a few drinks and you know, all of these lights are on, but it's all kind of dark and cozy. It's such a wonderful vibe and you've got music going and people chatting about bikes. Oh, it you know, it's takes my heart to just yeah. sing. Yeah, oh God, I can't wait to see it again. The which you prefer, the people in the event or the post shoot, which is your favorite to shoot? Oh, I think the event has to be my favorite. So, I mean, sorry guys, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, um, it's, it's beautiful to be here when it is just, you know, you've got the, the run of the place and you mm. can shoot the bike wherever you want. But when it's filled with people and it's busy and you know, it's buzzing, there's always something new to photograph. So yeah. you're constantly looking for the people, you know, everybody's here, e even if they're not riding, people come here to have a look at the, the bikes, especially the, you know, the, the shed built bikes where people are, all from all over the country, all, all over the world even, yeah. bring their bikes in to say, hey, I made this in my shed. You don't have to be into bikes that much to be able to really appreciate that. So that's a really special thing. And just photographing, yeah, everyone enjoying themselves. And then, yeah, we, you've also shot the festival for us. Yes. 
that's when we get bikes like this moving around a track? Yes, totally different experience yeah. because um, instead of having things static, the minute that there are people involved, it changes the way that the bike is shot, for example. So suddenly you're not just doing a bike shoot, you're also doing a portraiture sh shoot at the exact same time. Right. So in comparison to when like I shoot cars, you only ever have to really focus on the car and the, the person is secondary. When it comes to bikes, you've always got that rider with them. So. Yeah it changes the, the dynamic of the shot. So that along with um, yeah, moving moving bikes on a track creates some yeah, different photographs yeah. to what we'll get here at the, at the show. So we're gonna all come back here at the end of May and yep. fill it with people and bikes and see it all again. Yes. Which would be great. I'm excited. So, I mean, how many bikes end up coming to the show? Last year I think it was 283. It's a lot. <laughs> Probably a few more this year. I mean, the submissions are insane because people have had a couple more years to build, so mm. we've got some incredible looking things coming in. So yeah, there's going to be some, some good things to take photos of for Is sure. Is it difficult for you guys to choose which ones to say yes to and which ones to say no 100%. to? 100%. I think this year we'll probably end up with three submissions for every plinth, so <laughs> there's quite a lot of choosing to be done. But um, I mean, it's just great to see all the different things that people are doing. And me and Paul, the builder of this thing, we were talking about this earlier, and sort of from the humblest, lowest budget builds to the top scale things there's something in all of them for everyone so it's kind of yeah it's going to be good to fill it up with some machinery in here oh yeah it's going to be absolutely wonderful to see i can't uh, wait cool well we will we will see you then Yay. and we will see you then <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please like follow and subscribe for more bike shed content and don't forget to get your tickets at bikeshedlondonshow.com see you in may